There was a young man that went to the wrong apartment in an apartment complex he had just moved into. Now, instead of the resident letting the young man know, say, hey, you had the wrong apartment, he started to shoot his gun at him and end up killing him. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. As five kids, he was literally protecting his family. They truck has been stolen this week. Right now, that's all they're trying to do is protect their family. Nikila Johnson didn't want us to show her face, but says she's the cousin of 32-year-old Daryl Bynes. He's charged in killing 19-year-old Omarion Banks at the retreat apartments off Fairburn Road. This young woman, who also didn't want us to show her face, says she heard the gunshots. I seen him running around the corner, and all you heard was him saying, I'm sorry, it was the wrong door. Police say who she saw was Banks, who lived at this apartment complex with his girlfriend. Banks had just been dropped off by a lift. This is where the lift driver dropped off the victim right here. But the victim actually lived here. And you can see how similar these buildings look. Banks had just called his girlfriend, saying he was pulling up and to open the door. But he ended up at Bynes' door. So he pleaded for his life. He was like, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the dude shot him. Police say Bynes shot the teen from his balcony as he was coming down the stairs trying to get away. Johnson says her cousin only fired at Banks in self-defense. You're not going to be able to use self-defense. Not in this one. Because as you heard, the young man went to the door. He started shooting at him as he was trying to run away. Listen, he's running away. You can't shoot him. The only ones can get away with killing someone running away is the cops and they shouldn't be getting away with it either. But for sure, he's not going to get away with it. You can't say self-defense when someone is running away from you. You can't. He didn't even break into your home. He would have to cross the plane of your door to use lethal force in most states. And he didn't do that. That young man should still be here. I mean, completely. And this is my thing. I understand that he had a break in or, or whatever that happened to him, but you still have to take responsibility with your firearms. You can't just shoot people like that. Now we have this young man gone. He could go gone. He's not going to be here anymore. And then you got this other black man that's going to be locked up in jail. They're going to convict him. Let's call it what it is. They're going to convict him and he going to spend the rest of his life possibly in jail. It just it seemed that way just from what's going on now. We have to take our energy and apply that to critical thinking and also, you know, gun responsibility. We can't just be so quick to want to shoot and kill each other. Whether it's a situation that happened like Nipsey Hussle or this kind of situation. I mean, think a little bit. If the guy is running away, you can't kill him. I don't care if you conceal carry holder. You can't just start shooting people as they're running away. Now I understand a guy got away with that here in Texas, but the guy that got away with it here in Texas, they had broken inside of a home and then he caught him coming out of the home and he had shot him. You know, they're trying to run away. I don't think he should have got away with that either because he's not the police, but you know, he was white. When you're black, you definitely not get away with that crap. You, we all know this. So, you have a young man that lost his life, not here anymore. Another guy gone too. So it basically is two people gone. And what do you get out of that? Children that don't have, you know, their father or a young man that the mom and, and dad and everyone lost for something so silly, like a mistaken apartment. And then when the young man is trying to plead for his life, you're trying to tell him, no, you didn't make no mistake. So, so basically, in the process, you just wanted to shoot something. That's what you wanted to do. Thinking that they're getting at you again. We got to have more love for each other. We got to. As we, if you love each other, like a lot of you love white Jesus, we'll, we, boy, we'll be so far ahead because we can unify so much quicker. Love each other like you love white Jesus. Replace white Jesus for the love of your people. Because see, the thing is, if you knew the correct color of Jesus, which is a copper color brother like myself, I believe you would love black people. I really do because you love white Jesus and a lot of you love white folks. This is why we got to change that paradigm of white Jesus. This is why I got to take the time to show you about that painting and show you what happened with that. I got to do it just so you, can get that white Jesus image out your head and thinking that's the right Jesus because they have done a number on us. We, we hate anything that looked like us because they told you to hate. They promoted the hate of us. 
we got to start loving and appreciating us or we're not going to be here either. As a black community, we are on life support right now on the community aspect. Once you lose community and then we, we just about like say almost gone, you do nothing but savage behavior at that point. Savages don't have family. Savages just don't understand uh, the concept of, you know, human decency and being at peace. And that's not black people. That's not our history. That's not who we were in Africa. And that's not our culture now as the norm, but we have to call this mess out. We have to, somebody got to stand up and say, no, this is wrong. We got to get back to loving who we are. We can't have no more brothers. This young brother lost his life and then Nipsey hustle lose his life. And for what, for what it, it doesn't make sense. We as black men got to call this mess out. We, we cannot no longer accept the destructive behavior of other brothers because that's call it what it is. Those are the black males that's doing all the killing. Yeah. Every once in a while you got the female doing it, but the majority of them is the male. We got to stop being so quick to pick up a gun. And if you want to have an issue, do old school, man, let's square up, knuckle up. I mean, shoot, at least you walk away from that for the most part. You may have a hurt ego, maybe a couple of bruises, but you still, you need to live to fight another day. Well, we're so quick to pick up a gun. I mean, the people these days are so, so cowardice, scary. That's, that's what get on my nerves so much. You're so bad when you pick up a gun. Leave me a comment. There's thing about this particular comment, but as brothers, like I say, seriously, and, and the sisters too, we got to promote more, you know, love for each other putting aside our differences, learn to deal with each other with proper conflict resolution, understand and have mercy with each other. A man running away and saying that he making a mistake and you still want to shoot him anyway. That's not having mercy at all. It's not, but now this guy will have to sit down and think about this mess that he's done for the rest of his life.